I'm always amazed just how few people realize how incredible it is that two of Saturn's moons share an orbit. In this video, I'll share with you the story and some simulations of Janus and Epimetheus. Janus and Epimetheus are very small compared to our moon, each being less than 100 kilometers across. They also have very close and fast orbits orbiting Saturn in about 17 hours. Since the two moons orbit at about the same distance on the same orbital plane, every four years or so, the two moons approach each other closely, and that is when the magic happens. To demonstrate this co-orbital interaction, I put together a simulation in Python using processing.py. Now, if we just let this run for a little while, these two moons should eventually interact. Let's check how many orbits that'll take. Well, let's speed things up. That doesn't look right. All right, let's just show it at the default frame rate for our simulation and we'll skip ahead every once in a while. Every 2000 or so orbits, the two moons will get close enough so that they interact a little bit. Because of orbital mechanics, the moon closer to Saturn will orbit faster and will eventually catch up to the other moon. When they get close enough together, they'll actually orbit around each other. Switching spots, the faster moon becoming slower, and the new faster moon orbiting slightly faster until eventually it catches up and they switch again. Since that was visually underwhelming, I also simulated two more scenarios. The first of which is a rotating reference frame where the reference frame follows Janus. From the perspective of Janus, how far away is Epimetheus? As you see, Janus is catching up initially, but once it catches up, they'll switch orbits and Epimetheus will start taking the lead and will eventually catch up again, at which point they'll switch orbits again and the cycle continues about once every four years. While this potato quality render loops for infinity, let's take a look at what's going on under the hood. First off, there's a planet class, which is really similar to Coding Train's Nature of Code Mover class, except it's written in Python. Then we have three different scenarios with different inputs that we can switch between. The setup takes in gravitational characteristics for Saturn, Janus, and Epimetheus, but they're scaled to more convenient units. Finally, the draw function renders everything and rotates the reference frame as required, and there's some debug stuff. The final simulation is my favorite. I made a hypothetical example where Janus and Epimetheus switch orbits more frequently. In this scenario, they're further away from Saturn, and the difference in their orbits is more significant so they can catch up to each other more quickly. When they get close enough, they interact with each other, and the slower one tends to become the faster one. In this scenario, even though I tried to balance inputs so that Janus and Epimetheus would swap orbits smoothly, imperfections add up and the orbits quickly descend into chaos. I think it's surprising that this simulation was the closest I could get to an exaggerated scenario that ran smoothly for as long as possible. What I find most amazing is how unstable and unlikely this orbit actually is. It's just incredible that something as amazingly unlikely as Janus and Epimetheus could occur right in our own solar system. Especially when it's so much more likely that something unstable like this current simulation would occur. Even though we're way off track now, I'm gonna let the simulation run a little bit longer because I think you'll enjoy how it ends. Wait for it. In case you're worried about Janus after losing Epimetheus, this isn't to scale. With Saturn drawn to scale, it would actually look more like this. See, nothing to worry about. Plenty of room for an orbit. This is fine. I hope after watching this you have a better appreciation for Janus and Epimetheus. Make sure to check out my code on GitHub, there's a link in the description. I've also left links for my sources in the description, check those out if you'd like to learn more. I highly recommend the Nature of Code series by Coding Train. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my GitHub.